this is as comfortable as I'll get here. I wasn't planning on making a video, but my accessory wall that I just finished putting up right now is so beautiful, I just had to. I'm not reinventing the wheel here. It's a pegboard. It is a nice pegboard, but it is a pegboard. I was originally going to put hooks up here for a couple of my bags until I got to thinking a little bit about my needs. So I'm hoping this video inspires you for your own projects or at the very least entertains you. And now you can also see how I'm organizing my bags because it was a little bit disorganized before, which is what made me take on this project. As usual, all of the products and tools that I will be featuring in this video will be linked in the description down below, either the exact or equivalent. These are affiliate links, so it costs you nothing extra to buy through those links, but it does give me a little kickback to help support the channel so I can continue buying stuff like this and continue buying nice gear and equipment to make these videos. So as my products and needs change with time, so does my space. My space is kind of an evolving reflection of where I am in that particular moment. Like if my place is messy and I'm a little bit scatterbrained and I got a lot of projects going on or I'm just not in a great mental state or just in general of where I am in life and the different gears that I have, the different products that I have, the different furniture I have and all the upgrades and so on. As I start to collect more and more bags through my own purchases or through products given to me for review that I like and that I keep, products were kind of a little all over the place and it didn't really make it very organized or efficient for me to grab and go when I leave my place. I decided to go with a pegboard and this nice metal white one. Comes in a black color as well. These are some one quarter inch holes. It came with all of the screws as well as wall anchors, a drill bit, which I was really surprised about. The screws and wall anchors that come with the pegboard, great quality. However, because I was putting it on this solid closet entrance door, I was gonna drill just directly into it. Don't need the wall anchors. And the screws that came with it were just a little too long. So I had to go to the store and buy a little bit of a shorter one. It came with a bunch of these simple single hooks as well, but I wanted some additional hooks. So I bought a pack of these two hooks that have a nice rubberized texture on it to protect your gear. And that just allowed me to put chunkier items like bag handles and maybe if I fill it up with more items in there so I don't have to empty it out, well, it would be able to handle that load. Also just look nice. There are other variety of items like my neck fan. Pretty much all the products I have here are products that I have reviewed, by the way, or have been featured in a video. I'll link them all in the description as well for you in a section called other videos referenced or something. Yes, I could have gone with a cheaper pegboard for workshops, but I wanted something a little bit nicer and aesthetic and sturdy. So I got to putting everything together and I really took my time to measure, but upon drilling the hole on my second hole, I realized I made a rookie mistake. So I ended up drilling through the hole, through the door. And that is now an additional item I have to patch up at a later time. Putting this all together was a little long at the beginning, but then I started finding my groove and I started getting into it and everything was going well. I used my laser level, which really helps speed up the process. and I towards the third and fourth panel, started figuring out a better process of marking the holes and aligning everything. And some of the edges of these pegboards weren't perfectly flush, so I also had to, with a hammer or with a needle nose plier, I would bend it back into shape. And of course, I would protect the pegboard as best as I can by putting tape on the needle nose plier and putting a buffer between the hammer and the item just to, not screw up the paint. And then when I was done, about three hours later, because I was also filming a little bit at the same time, you know, just in case, didn't realize I was gonna make a video, but I mean, I could, that was kind of a sign I was gonna make a video, subconsciously, I guess. Then it was the fun part, organizing everything. What would I put on here? Obviously I was putting my bags, so I put all of my bags here. Neck fan, which I featured in my EDC video, great because I can just grab it on here. It was kind of just like on the floor in my closet before that. It didn't really have a place because it's a, a little bit of an odd shape of an item. I also can put, you know, umbrella here, which is just kind of hanging on a shelf in my closet before. Uh, all of my different slings. And then up here, I have headbands and hats. The best part about the pegboard system is it's customizable, of course, which means that I can change it up as my needs change, as I buy more products, as I get rid of products and seasonally. So in the winter, I'm less likely going to need my baseball hat, but I can add gloves and scarves there 
I still have a little bit of space here and I'm, I can move things around. Not everything on here is essential. I just kind of filled it up for the time being because I have the space and why not? So I'm very excited for this uh, really simple idea of a project of just utilizing the back of your closet door. Like I did not invent that by any means. It's definitely, you know, something that a lot of people do and I have so much space in my closet that this is actually great to be able to use that space, but it not be in the way when I open the door. Before leaving, I can just open my closet door, grab a bag to go, and grab any accessories that I forget, and I can be out the door. And it's just a nice visual reminder of everything that I have as well. It's also kind of a cute backdrop. Maybe I'll film here sometimes, I don't know. Comment if I should use this as a backdrop in future videos. Thank you for watching. And if you want to see another organization video, which is about my camera gear, you can watch that right here. And if not, this video may be of interest to you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>